I'd like to call upon Kathy's subconscious and higher self, please. Yes, we are here. Thank you so much. Are we able to do a body scan and see what is happening to her body at this time? Yes. She is doing well. Are you able to scan the body and get it into balance and harmony? Yes, we will do that. Is there anything you would like us to know about her body? She is doing a much better job of hydrating. She is doing a better job of staying in touch with her self-care and paying attention to where she needs to address issues. She needs to continue doing this and consuming the water as she has been doing. Fantastic. Okay, wonderful. Uh, we have some questions, um, as you know. Um, we were curious to understand uh, about uh, being prepared for the shift um, in December last year. It feels like now, when we reflect back, it seems like we were very ill-prepared, and so was Gaia's body and most of humanity that seemed still very asleep. What can you let us know about that today? There was still much growth from many people that needed to occur. Although they thought they were ready and they were excited, they still had much to learn much more releasing to do, similar to the way Gaia is releasing. There were many 3D things holding people grounded that they needed to work through. They are growing more every day spiritually. They are releasing more every day. That will continue right up until the shift. And talking about the shift, Will there be some uh, pre-shift events for those people who have not raised their vibrations enough to go onto uh, the fifth dimension? Those who have not raised their vibration are finding other exit points, whether it be through this COVID pandemic, whether it be through natural accidents that occur, whether it be through Guys, tumultuous events that are occurring. There are people, animals, plants leaving daily. It just is so spread out across the globe that it is not as obvious. But if you were to take a telescope and zoom in and gather up all those deaths and shifts, you would be amazed at how many have actually gone already. Oh, I see. That's interesting. And so what are they, what is the majority of them doing since they have shifted? Many have gone back to their home planets. Some have gone to New Earth. Some are in a holding pattern. We are seeing, we are seeing ships with lots of ships with people on them. They are asleep. They are in med beds like chambers to keep them. They are sleeping. So there are people that are already have arrived on the new earth. Very few have arrived on new earth, but they are in transit. As you know, for your purposes and your understanding, it takes close to two years, 14 months to two years to arrive there in your time frame. So as they are healing, they are in transit, they will be 
comfortable and able to process when they arrive. Would that explain why a few people are saying that in 2023 there will be uh, other being disclosures? I'm sorry, did, did you say 2023? Yes, uh, it's 2021 now. So if someone was being told that in the year 2023 they would experience other species uh, of extraterrestrial uh, origins, would that be how they would get that information? We aren't seeing a specific year for when that is happening. We aren't seeing, we're showing Kathy a light blue sky and birds flying around. She's not sure what that is. So for those people who get told that there will be, um, they will meet other species, um, I mean, they're assuming it's on this planet. What would you like them to know about that? No, it will not be on this planet. Although there are many here of other species, they are cloaked. They are fitting in as if they were human. They will not be revealing that here. People will not find that out until they have left here. Some will find out on the ships. Some will not find out until they arrive at their final destinations, but they will have received downloads that will help them understand as they are healing in the chambers, the, bed, the med bed type chambers, they will have some of the information that the veil has shrouded be lifted and they will understand that there are thousands of species across the universes. They will come to understand that they are part of the families of many of these species. So when they arrive at their destinations, it will not be a shock to them. Fantastic. It does seem like a lot of people are still uh, unaware of the shift taking place and that uh, they're pretty convinced that the fifth dimension is just a mindset. Um, yes, yes. Is that a pretty much guaranteed indication that they're staying on the old earth or something else? Nobody is staying on the old earth for very long. There will be some that stay here, but we can do no more. We've done as much as we can to wake people up. It is up to them now. We've done what we can. They must take these steps on their own. Those that are staying will not be here long. We're giving Kathy nine months and this planet will be gone vacated completely. Thank you. I do understand that. Okay, well, uh, we do really appreciate the information you're giving us. In terms of changes to the new timeline, uh, the timeline that Kathy's in, what will she be noticing? She is still on the same timeline. She will still see some of the disclosure that will be happening when the Three Gorges Dam goes down. They will shortly, very shortly after that, have the shutdown of the internet and the disclosures will begin. Kathy will still be shifting within a week of the blackouts. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, because she was curious if there had been any new changes. So, um, thank you. She also got a sense that her daughters would shift before her. What can you give? That is correct. We gave her that information last night. She is feeling the energy swelling through her body now. We did give her that information last night as she was falling asleep. We will not tell her how. She wanted to know how they ultimately leave. We will not be giving her that information. She's not ready to hear that information. Okay. And uh, to confirm, is she still going to the new earth? What does that look like? Yes. Yes, she is. And what we let her 
understand last night, but not really see so much is that her daughters will be going first. They will actually be there on the new earth to greet Kathy when she arrives. And so why is it going to be that format? Why do they who, do they even know about the shift? They have a high vibration right now. They are doing some good inner work. They don't really have the information of the shift. They vaguely recall that Kathy may have mentioned it once, but they do not have their mind wrapped around anything. They are focusing as they should be on their current lives. They are young and they are looking forward to their futures and they are keeping their vibrations high and that will help them when they shift. But they do not understand that they are going to a new planet. Okay, and so just to keep Kathy's mind at ease, um, she will reunite with her daughters on the new earth and she does understand uh, the significance of the shift and the importance of it, but what can you tell her to support her knowing what she has to emotionally overcome? It will actually occur very quickly before Kathy shifts. There won't be much time for Kathy to process it. It will not be a scenario where they leave and she is here in mourning and going through a funeral. It will be very quickly before Kathy shifts. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I know she would struggle to know that her children suffer, just like every other parent that's out there. And we know that uh, her girls have got life contracts and that they have spiritual support teams as well, helping them assist with this evacuation. Is there any other information you'd like her to know as she processes this information when she listens back to it? No, she is fine. We are reminding her as the tattoo on her arm and her girl's arms all say, all is well. It is as it's supposed to be. She can relax and know that it's all purposeful and we have it under control. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, is there any other significance to the owls and the tattoos that they have together? It was helpful for her to feel unified with her daughters and know that they had a special connection. It was to help her remember that and know that she will stay connected to them. That owl is just the reminder. It is of importance to note that there was a delay in her son being able to receive that same tattoo that they would all have matching in unison. And that is because her son is not going to New Earth as she already knows. He was not able to get that tattoo and actually his schedule to get it in January. He will be gone before that happens. Okay, I understand. Okay, and so in terms of the husband, she's still curious to know, is he going to get there? Is he going to get to New Earth? He actually will be going to New Earth. There will be a little bit of a delay before he gets there and he will be in the healing beds. He will not be able to raise his vibration enough here to shift in a natural way. We will be taking him without him knowing. Well, that's going to be helpful for him to know that, um, well, more helpful for Kathy because I'm assuming he still is completely oblivious to the shift at this point. He is oblivious. He listens to Kathy when she jokingly says, I'm not going to be here a, a lot longer whenever he makes plans for long-term future. She kind of just laughingly reminds him, well, you can make those plans, but the aliens are coming to take me before that because that's the only way he seems to <laughs> understand when he, she says she's not going to be here and he doesn't take it seriously, but that is okay. She is okay with it because she knows she is gently reminding him and once she is gone, he will kind of understand a little bit better. The book is on her desk and he will find it. Well, lovely. Okay, well, thank you so much for that information. 
Um, we would like to know if there's uh, any collectives that would like to speak and give us any insights um, and any more information that is the most appropriate for us to know at this time. The Mantis Collection, Collective, excuse me, is here now. Okay. They are flowing through Kathy's body pretty strongly right now. Is there any blockages in the body that is uh, struggling or is this just free flowing energy? It is free flowing. Kathy is fine with it. She understands her voice sounds a little funny, but she is actually quite welcoming to it. She feels that it helps give her confirmation and she likes that. She likes that feeling and that flow. Hmm. Uh, people come into these sessions uh, with doubt and worry and fear. And then when they have these sessions and the information comes, uh, which confirms uh, not always what the client is hoping to hear. It is quite a feat and a, and a journey to be able to overcome the information and to fully accept it and to process it. And um, that is quite normal. And I feel like it kind of is profound confirmation that it's not our ego speaking uh, when we get this bigger information. Um, we always wonder when we start doing these sessions, are we crazy? Have we just lost our minds? Um, what would you like <laughs> Kathy to know about that? She is not crazy. And we are reminding her that when she had partaken of her medicinals a few weeks ago and she had the very, very large dance party, party in her body that we were showing her very clearly then, she was quite receptive to it. And we enjoyed it as well. We like being able to do that. And we like knowing that it helps her with confirmation. She is quite receptive to it. So we do not stop it when it happens. I guess um, the sense of the profound energy is undeniable. And no one is really capable of just performing or putting it on. So thank you for giving her this confirmation. I know she really appreciates it. So please tell me, Mantid, Mantis Collective, um, how, what would you like us to know today? Kathy had a connection with the Mantis Collective long ago. She read in Dolores Cannon's works of people who had experienced the mantis group they did not mean to scare anybody they find it amusing that they would be scary they are quite skinny although tall but really so gentle that they are almost afraid of the humans more so but they do so love all of the humans and they are very curious they would like to be able to connect in more but they realize that not many are receptive to the energies flowing through them and they certainly would never show their physical appearance because <laughs> they realize they are somewhat terrifying looking they are shaking kathy's body quite a bit now but she finds it funny <laughs> and what is the significance of shaking her body like that when they did the testing for people, they, they were tasked with finding out about body systems, collecting tissue samples, finding out what organs could tolerate heavy demands, heavy loads of toxins, and whether they could regenerate, whether they could withstand. So they were testing people who had gone through extreme heavy loads of all kinds of things, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, all kinds of things in the environment. And then they were tasked with getting tissue samples from various organs to see if the organs were still strong and functional. That was their job. I see, I see. And what other messages would you like us to know? 
they are looking forward to seeing people on new earth they will greet people there they will reveal themselves there they are looking forward to everyone coming Morphin. they are saying goodbye now oh, okay. they are happy to have joined us and they are saying goodbye they need to move on and do other work well thank you uh, thank you and it will be extraordinary to meet other um other species that we have forgotten about and as kathy knows she had a past lifetime or a different lifetime of being a uh, mentored um subconscious is there anything you would like kathy to know about that lifetime we are sorry to interrupt but john mcafee is here the vessel is not sure if she is able to relay what he wants to say she is hopeful she can but she feels he is very powerful and she's not sure she's up to the task she can do it if she just relaxes a little okay so we're just enjoying the way it feels to have deep relaxation moving through the body releasing all tensions anywhere in the body and just let your body deeply relax with no worries and no problems as our friend has come to visit. <laughs> Hello, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> um, How are you? Well, I'm fantastic. Uh, so um, what, what can we do for you today? What would you like us to know? I'm just wanting to know how you're all doing. Are you watching what's happening in the news? A lot going on, a lot of energies out there, a lot of crazy shit going down. What do you think? I don't watch the news, but tell me what's happening so I should get excited. Well, we know the election stuff is about to flip real soon. I'm anxious to see what happens with all of that because I know what's going on in all those voting systems. I know what's going on in those machines. I'm well aware of it. And it's coming real soon. And people are going to be fucked in the head when they find out. A lot of unhappy Biden people going to be around and it's going to be a lot of fucking fun. Well, it's great that you can see it from that perspective. And um, how have you been doing as you've been acclimatizing yourself to being in the afterlife? This is fantastic. I'm loving this. I am enjoying what I'm doing. Still working on my contract here on Earth, but I get to enjoy kind of both sides and it's pretty fucking awesome. Well, that's best of both worlds then, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, and so what else is going on that you can tell us that uh, we were not aware of? Hold on, the vessel is... She can't hold this energy. She's got to release it. He just came in to say hello. He, he is receding back now. I see. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, and thank you for um, allowing that connection. He does seem very keen and eager, and we love that about him. He said, see you soon, as he went away. Nice. Um... Does that mean that we're going to see his clone soon or him soon? Him. I'm not sure how that's happening because the vessel is under the impression that he is not here anymore, but who knows? Will we see him on the new Earth, perhaps? Yes. Will he have much to share with us then on the new Earth? He will. He's looking forward to his wife joining him there. Beautiful. Well, hopefully um, the wait for her. I mean, does she believe he has died? She still has connection to him. She seems to sort of understand that he was a very big 
being more than just what was represented here on 3D Earth. So it appears that she kind of knows he's playing in both realms, is the words we're giving Kathy. Was part of their life contracts together to be able to help support him uh, step into his yes. role? Yes, she had a very strong role in his life. She was very important in helping him as he was going through the later years because he had a lot of stuff going on that was both good and bad. She was a stabilizing force for him. She kept him grounded. Is that because his contract did not change and he was supposed to still deliver this information to humanity? Yes. Okay. Can we just send her profound love and healing and um, empowerment um, and confirmation that her intuition is correct? Because it does make me feel sad that there is a mourning widow out there who, who is um, trying to put her world back together. Yes, we are sending her that love. She is receiving it. Okay. She is so thankful. She misses John. Well, hopefully the, the time that it takes for her to reunite with her husband um, goes quickly for her and that she can learn and grow as she needs to while uh, she is waiting for that reunion. Yes, she has a good support team around her. We are protecting her. Oh, lovely. Well, thank you so much. Um, okay, oh, wonderful. Um, and so is there any other information from any collectives or anyone that needs to give us important information today? Not at this time. Okay. Is there a final message for Kathy? She is doing fine. She needs to just continue what she's doing. She is busy. That is keeping her mind off of how soon this shift will be. She knows it is soon. She feels it. She woke up yesterday morning feeling that something had changed drastically in her area. She knows it is soon. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for all the support and encouragement and wisdom that you have been providing, Kathy. I know she tries hard to connect in with you and she does honor the information that you do provide for her. And she is always so grateful for the energy and the healing that you provide, uh, not only just for her, but her family and her clients and all her friends and loved ones that she does care about greatly. You're welcome. We are taking good care of her. May she always remember that in the future times when things seem a bit scary. She is doing well. She does not have fear. Wonderful. 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 Well, thank you so much.